PPI was released today, retail sales was released today in the US, and both of those showed economic weakness here in the United States. PPI came in at down 0.5, although the core rose slightly, and the retail sales dropped 1.1%, both headline and X autos. Even X autos and gas was down 0.7%, showing more falling prices across the retail sector, and on top of that, both department store sales and online sales both fell in the month of December. That leads us to lower yields. Yields were down already. When we opened this morning, they went even further. And I'm talking about the yields, not the price. Price was actually higher. The two year is now down about seven basis points on the yield. Five years down about 13 basis points or a little bit more than a 10th of 1%. Same thing with the 10 year, 13 basis points. That's a little bit more than a 10th of 1% in the 30 year is down exactly a tenth of 1%. That puts stocks slightly higher, but falling from their highs. The Dow is basically unchanged. The S&P is up about half of 1%, and the NASDAQ and the Russell both up about nine tenths of 1%. United Airlines beat and guided higher, and the Bank of Japan actually left their policy rates unchanged, which surprised a lot of analysts overnight. Commodities are moving higher. Crude oil jumps back above $82, first time since December 5th of last year, it's up 2.2%. Copper is up 2.4%. Gold and silver both up about a half of 1%. And soybean futures at the CME group are at a seven month high right now. So commodities driving higher. Looking ahead, Kansas City Fed President Astro George speaking today, Atlanta Fed President Rafael Bostic, Dallas Fed Chief Lori Logan, Philadelphia Fed President Patrick Harker all speaking. James Bullard spoke already this morning He's the St. Louis Fed president. He basically said that the Fed needs to lean into higher rates for now, basically while they can. Earnings today, Kinder Morgan, Discover, and Alcoa after the close, along with six other companies with market caps over a billion. Tomorrow before the open, P&G, that's Procter & Gamble, Key Corp, and about 13 more companies with market cap over a billion dollars. Tomorrow we get ECB president Christine Lagarde speaking. We get the minutes from the last ECB meeting. U.S. Philly Fed, housing starts and building permits, and of course, jobless claims. Then tomorrow we have Collins, Brainerd, and Williams all speaking from the Fed. Also, today, this afternoon, we get the Fed's beige look.